three, two, one. Let's get it started. And both teams coming to life at the beginning of the Thomas period. The Blue Alliance getting a cube up over the fence early. Some stars as well. They're looking to show what they can do at this world championship. It looks like they're at the end of the autonomous program for both of these. We're looking to see a autonomous. Hey! Kill it! Kill it. All right. It looks like we are trying to figure out the autonomous winner. It is the Blue Alliance, the Lebanese team, taking the win in the beginning of this. We're looking to start the teleoperational period. Three, two, one, teleoperation. All right, Team Rec looking to come back from a little bit of a deficit. Starting off strong with that cube way up and over into the back end of the field. Team Rec's coming up and over again. They are fast. They are furious. They are showing what Texans are made of. The team from Lebanon answering right back. Team Rec coming over with a ton of stars. It looks like two stars and a cube going up and over. Three stars in a cube. The team from Lebanon answers right back with two of their own in a cube. Some more stars going over the fence. We have shooting stars everywhere this match. This is going to be close. This is back and forth. This is neck and neck. This is the VexU Robotic World Championships. 30 seconds left in this match. It looks like Team Rack getting some stars over. Team Rack looking to grab a cube or two. It looks like we have three cubes on the blue lines over the fence. The red lines having one as well. Four cubes. 16 seconds left. It looks like some stars over... The team from Lebanon looks like they're trying to make something happen. Ten seconds left. Nine seconds left. There's going to be some defense. One cube over. They're trying to get another cube over. They're trying to even the score in the final seconds of this match. And that's all she wrote, George. <laughs>